Hey, what's up guys? The weather's getting nice and warm and that means there's a lot of garage sales going around. Now's the perfect time to walk through the neighborhood, see what you can find. We got this uh, nice 1966 Women's Raleigh Superb Bicycle. I picked it up at an estate sale. It is definitely gonna be a fun bike that's gonna turn a lot of heads. So let's get a little closer. I'll uh, point out some things in its current condition and, and uh, we'll go through the restoration on it. All right, so the first thing I do want to point out is it does come complete um, as the original bicycle, right? So we have all of the original Raleigh components, the crank arms, the old pedals. These do have a lot of wear on them. That's okay. Um, and probably the thing I'm most excited about is the uh, Stormy Archer um, internal three-speed hub. Now, this, this old uh, Stormy Archer hub, um, I can't say it works great because I haven't used it at all, but you can see... Stormy Archer embossed decal right there. Um, we're gonna be taking that apart and re rebuilding that. We have a lot of chrome on this bike, or at least potential for chrome on this bike. And up here we have the uh, old original three-speed Stormy Archer shifter. From the front, I mean, there's obviously a lot of wear here. There was a basket, it was an old wicker basket. I removed that because it was in horrible shape and it wasn't needed. One of the other cool features that we have is we have the fork lock right here. This fork lock unfortunately doesn't look like it's operational. I don't have the key for it. I'm sure I could probably find one on eBay. I think the bike's in, well, it's, it's all there. I'm not gonna say good condition because obviously, you know, it's not, but it will be when we're done with it. All right, so before we get started, we uh, probably want to test a small section of the bicycle, make sure we can actually chrome it out. Um, so I'm gonna use a, a collection of different products that you can get at your local hardware store. So to start off first, we're gonna use Loctite Rust Dissolver. Um, the next thing we're gonna use is gonna be this uh, Never Dull product. And then the third product we're gonna use is just uh, some, some regular old steel wool. And then lastly, we're just gonna use a small microfiber cloth. All right, so I'm just gonna apply this Loctite Rust Dissolver with a little brush. So while we're waiting for, uh, for all this secure, let's go ahead and start taking some of the uh, components off the bike and, and getting it ready for this awesome restoration that we're gonna do. We're just gonna break this down and uh, get it cleaned up and rebuilt and uh, see how shiny we can make it. Uh, let's go back to this guy here. Uh, let's see how this is gonna turn out. So I got this nice little bottle of uh, basically soap and water. Spray some on there. So what do I think? I think with minimal effort, we're able to get some of the shine back. But I still think it could be better. So let's, uh, let's see what we could do with some Neverdoll. And, you know, just rub it on there. And we're gonna take a little section of the steel wool. of rusted pitting out. Thing that 
is always very unpredictable about these old, these old rusty bikes is you never really know how easy or how hard it's going to be to take the bike apart. And one thing I have been noticing about this build, this bike in particular, is everything really is tight. This is not a money maker. You will not get rich off of restoring old bicycles. What you will do is you will enjoy yourself. All right, now really all we gotta do is pop a couple of clamps off and the spinner should come right off. There we go, just use a little elbow grease and we'll get it off. Definitely gonna need to clean that out. So these bearings for the bottom bracket, they're a quarter inch. These ones are pretty decent condition. I should be able to clean all of the gunk off of them and reuse them. So this is the removable cup for the left side. On the right side, the drivetrain side, we can call it a stationary cup. And we're actually gonna leave that one in place so that way when we reassemble the bike, everything is kind of aligned the correct way. looks like now all taken apart thanks for following along with me as we disassembled this bike part two is going to go in detail about breaking each component down even further getting it to shine and uh, getting it ready for the rebuild so check that one out should be coming out shortly